I want to ask our cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries to replicate what the president and I do when we are going out there. Anytime the president is going to a county, the planning is done together with elected leaders, especially from this side of the people who support the government. We want to ask our cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries when you have some programs in a certain county, please talk to the elected leaders. You are in the national government, and these are the people we work together in the national government. Let us involve them. And if the president has time to engage them, I have time to engage them. You should also have time to engage them. And I also want to plead with our CSS and our PSS, don't relegate consultation of elected leaders to your personal assistance. Do it personally. Because we do so ourselves. When we are going out, the president creates a day to engage with leaders from that region, understand the issues, agree on the program, and everything is very seamless. I do the same. So let us from here have time to talk to elected leaders because it is the, it is the right thing uh, to do. The Food and Feed Safety uh, Bill that is presently before our Agriculture Committee is in second reading, uh, Your Excellency. And in, by the end of this week that you're beginning, we should be able to conclude on its third reading because the report has been tabled and our committees uh, have proposed their amendments uh, uh, to what you had done in the assembly, Moshimo uh, Ichungwa. So I believe we should be able to close uh, rank on that particular issue. I want to thank our members in both houses for the support and the commitment in making sure that our legislative agenda carries the day in parliament. And uh, I want to say that we'll continue to engage all the time so that we are all looking at things the same way because we serve the people of Kenya and we all belong to the same administration. Your Excellency, let me thank you once more for always having time to engage with elected leaders. It is your philosophy that elected leaders are very important and you cannot get far without their input. And that is why when the executive literate was convened, you insisted that the legislature should be here so that we discuss and not talk in this, the same language. At the Senate, Your Excellency, we have considered quite a significant uh, number of bills that are key to the promises that we made to the people. And I want to take this earliest opportunity to appreciate the members of uh, our side of the House who have all been extremely supportive and at the times when we needed them, at least 90 to 99 percent have showed up and voted with us. It's not a very easy experience and uh, I say this knowing that perhaps very few people understand uh, that remark. Perhaps only those that uh, have served in the Senate understand the difficulty of raising the magical 24. It's never an easy business. Uh, and I am to appreciate that this present term of the Senate, uh, members have been extremely supportive in passing business that has been forwarded to us. Again, we also want to ask the leadership of Parliament to also consider, much as you have the role to oversight government and call our ministers to Parliament, sometimes it becomes very difficult for us to work because our ministers are perpetually in the House, in different committees. I think Your Excellency will request a meeting with the leadership so that we agree on how to balance between ministers appearing in Parliament to answer questions and also be available to serve. Because sometimes even we have cabinet committees, we are not able to prosecute our agenda because ministers are in and out of Parliament. But I believe with some engagement with the leadership, we can agree on an acceptable way where we allow ministers to function at the same time they appear before uh, uh, parliament. We are anxiously awaiting the housing bill, which uh, the Honorable Lichungwa has spoken about. Once our colleagues in the assembly uh, conclude on it, 
we will definitely consider it. Uh, chances are we have our slight different views on one or two issues, but as you know, we have been quite uh, fast at agreeing and closing ranks every time us and the assembly have a different view to on any particular matter. In fact, uh, I'm glad to report and I appreciate our colleagues in the assembly as well, that the two or three bills that have gone through a mediation process this term, within the first meeting, we were able to close ranks and agree, meaning those from the assembly were able to see uh, things from our perspective as Senate, and us were able to understand you as our colleagues from the assembly. It's not very usual. Uh, the last two terms of parliament, uh, that never used to happen. In fact, it used to be, the meetings actually used to break down your excellency on account of who chairs. Eh? You sit down and you have the team from the assembly, the team from the Senate. Just to agree on who leads the meeting will break that mediation process. But I'm glad and happy to report that uh, we have come out of age as an institution and are now focused on the things uh, that matter. I want to ask our cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries to replicate what the president and I do when we are going out there. Anytime the president is going to a county, the planning is done together with elected leaders, especially from this side of the people who support the government. We want to ask our cabinet secretaries and the principal secretaries when you have some programs in a certain county, please talk to the elected leaders. You are in the national government, and these are the people we work together in the national government. Let us involve them. And if the president has time to engage them, I have time to engage them. You should also have time to engage them. And I also want to plead with our CSS and our PSS, don't relegate consultation of elected leaders to your personal assistance. Do it personally. Because we do so ourselves. When we are going out, the president creates a day to engage with leaders from that region, understand the issues, agree on the program, and everything is very seamless. I do the same. So let us from here have time to talk to elected leaders because it is the, it is the right thing uh, to do. I want to thank our members in both houses for the support and the commitment in making sure that our legislative agenda carries the day in parliament. And uh, I want to say that we'll continue to engage all the time so that we are all looking at things the same way because we serve the people of Kenya and we all belong to the same administration. Your Excellency, let me thank you once more for always having time to engage with elected leaders. It is your philosophy that elected leaders are very important and you cannot get far without their input. And that is why when the executive literate was convened, you insisted that the legislature should be here so that we discuss and not talk in the same language.